What's up, everyone? Uh, this is part two of an eBay lot I purchased. Um, it was all DC and Marvel books. Uh, I think there were 43 in total. I paid 15, uh, $57 for the entire thing. Um, and this is part two of that, so I'm going to be going over about like 20 books here. Um, the other 20 are in part one. All right, first up here, got Liberty Legion. Uh, Marvel premiere number 29. Um, this is the first appearance of the Liberty Legion. Um, I guess a, a team led by Bucky. Um, in pretty good condition, so I think that's worth a few bucks. Next up, Thing in Kazar. Marvel 2 and 1, number 73. Um, not in the best condition. There are not a ton of keys from uh, this run, so. What cool book to have. Alright, next up here we got New Gods, number 11. Um, this is a pretty cool one. Um, this one in particular isn't a key. Um, there are a few books from this run uh, that are keys. Uh, but this one is... Um, Actually, pretty well sought after um, by collectors, so that's a cool book to have. I have a few other New Gods books as well. Here's Lois Lane, uh, number 135. Um, this isn't a key, just a random DC book here. Here's something I'd never seen before. Got Gigantic Strange Adventures, number 226. Funny cover. Also got another um, Gigantic Strange Adventures here. Got number 227. Cool. Different looking DC books. Another DC book, you got Superman's Pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 161. All these books are in pretty okay condition. There are like a few spine ticks on this one and some of the others, but all around they're in pretty alright condition. Alright, here's a cool one. Godzilla, number 2. Um, I guess this is an iconic cover because... Godzilla's attacking the Space Needle. Um, this book goes for a few books. This one's got a few spine ticks, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. Next, got Marvel's Greatest Comics, number 38. Um, I believe this run is all reprints of um, you know previous comic books, in this case, Fantastic Four. That's cool. I have a few of these as well. Uh, this one's cool. We've got Amazing Adventures, number 17 here, featuring Beast. Um, this book does have, like, two creases on the cover. There's a big one here, and one on the side over here. You can see in the light. Um, this is pretty cool. This is the first book from this run um, that I have. That's pretty cool. Alright, next up I got a few She-Hulk books. Um, maybe like four or five here. So this is number 24. Um, none of them are listed as keys, but they still hold a little bit of value. Here we got number 21. And I did not watch the She-Hulk show, so I'm actually... Don't know a whole lot about the Shield character. Number 19. That looks good. Alright, next up, got Captain America 261. Um, kind of just a random book, not really a key.
Here's Contest of Champions number one. Um, this book goes for a few bucks. This is a pretty... Uh, it's got a few spine ticks. It's an okay looking copy. Here's Inhumans number ten or twelve, excuse me. <laughs> this is a cool cover, I think. That one's nice. Alright, this is Omega the Unknown number three. Um, these books from this run aren't aren't worth a whole lot. I think I've got another one here. And this is number eight. All right, next up, got Captain Marvel number 62. Definitely a cool book to have. Have not uh, read any of this run. And another one here, this is number 52. Neither of these are keys either. And alright, last up, uh, last book I've got here. I think this one's uh, one of my favorites from this haul. Um, Worlds Unknown number 5. Um, a cool early Bronze Age Marvel book. Um, horror, obviously after the comics code, though. Um, so yeah, that one's definitely cool to get as well. Kind of like these Marvel uh, horror books. But alright, that's it for the lot. Uh, thank you all for watching.